Okay guys, Mr. Chavez already introduced this, but we are talking about solving systems of equations today. And this is the math behind Linsolve, so menu three, two. I just have, I know Mr. Chavez said this, but I'm gonna ask that you try your best. What that means is, I don't care what photo math says, I would rather you fail and try than to not try at all. So we are only gonna do one problem in this video, so if you'll write this down with me, our system is gonna be this, y equals negative three x plus nine, so this is in slope-intercept form, right equals mx plus b. The other is y equals 4x plus 2. Okay, so a few things here. Before, you were given a variable, but now we have, to, we have two full equations here. What I notice is that I have y equals and y equals. So the same way we say 8 equals 8, right? This is a true statement. We can also say y equals y. So y in this equation is negative 3x plus 9. y in this equation is 4x plus 2. But both of these things equals y, which means both of these are actually equal to each other. So how, here's how we're going to write it. We're going to say, we're going to take this piece and say, okay, well, negative 3x plus 9 is equal to, well, this is y, that's y. So it's actually equal to 4x plus 2. Right, this is the same thing as y equals y. Okay, so looking at this, this is actually just like what we saw last week. We're gonna draw the line and solve for our x. So I'm always gonna move the negative first. So this is a negative three x, so we're gonna say plus three x. That is a zero pair. And then I have to add it to the like term, so plus three x. Four x plus three x gives me seven x. So I have seven x plus two left on the right. And then on my left hand side, I have this nine left. We're gonna bring that down. All right, so we're using those same steps, reverse PEMDAS. And I forgot to ask the questions. So our questions are, can I simplify the left or right side? My bad, you guys, we couldn't simplify. Okay, so my next question is, are all my variables together by themselves? No, so we had to move that over there. Now we're doing reverse PEMDAS, okay? If you need a refresher, that's all in last week. So we add and subtract first. So you have this multiplication of the seven and addition of two, so minus two, minus two. So nine minus two is seven. We have seven equals seven X. These are multiplied together. The way I get rid of multiplication is division. So we're gonna divide by seven, divide by seven. Seven divided by seven is one. So we know X equals one. But if you remember, we're solving for a point. We're looking for the point where the two lines cross or intersect. So my answer, guys, is gonna be written as x comma y. Well, right now, here's the problem. We only know what the x is, right? So we gotta figure out what the y is. So we know that x is one, but check this out. In your original equations right here, you had two y equals problems. So we just need to pick one, and we can plug that in. I hate negative. So I'm gonna do the one that does not have a negative. So here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna pick this one right here. You can do the same. So we have y equals 4x plus 2. Sorry. But we just said we know that x is 1. So we have this x. So I'm going to replace that x with a 1. So we're going to say y equals 4 parentheses. We're going to put that 1 there plus 2. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So we know that y equals six. So x equals one, y equals six. I can t put that right here. So my answer is one comma six. We're gonna go to Desmos to check this. Um, one thing I wanna point out really quickly is I could have plugged this one in to the other equation and I would have still gotten. Okay, to check, you're gonna go to desmos.com, D-E-S-M-O-S.com and hit start graphing. Okay, so we're gonna take our two equations. So the first equation we had was y equals negative three x plus nine. Y equals, oh, hello, negative three x plus nine. Okay, that's that red line right there. The next equation we had was y equals four x plus two. So remember, the solution to the system is the point where the two lines cross. So I can take my cursor scroll it over and what do you know it's the same as what we solved this makes both of our equations true and it's also where it crosses 